Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we've come this week to a place called Akarn, which is just on the shores of Loch Tay, kind of just along from Kenmore a wee bit. Um, and we're climbing up this hill here. It's a nice easy path, although it's uh, quite rough underfoot. We're climbing up this hill here to go and visit a waterfall called the Falls of Bacharn. Um So, let's see if we can get some shots there. All right, so, um, as always, if you like uh, the, the shots you see, or like the stuff you see, please like, please subscribe, please hit the little bell icon down in the corner. Well, we've come about 500 metres up the hill or so, and uh, we've got this turn off here that takes us down to the falls just behind me here. But you've got to go down um, through a kind of artificial cave thing, which is kind of down around the corner back here. Um, and it was built by the third Earl of Bridalbane, I think, back in the 1760s. Uh, as a tourist attraction, they felt that it would be more kind of dramatic for the uh, tourists to come see the falls by passing through this hermit's cave. It's quite dark inside, but we'll, we'll brave that and go down. Uh, so it's, there's been all sorts of visitors here. There's been the likes of uh, Robert Burns, William and Dorothy Wordsworth, all came here, all enjoyed it as far as I gather. So uh, let's go and add our names to that list. All right, come on, let's go. As you'll have seen there, that's us um, arrived at the falls and they are incredibly dramatic. I would say they must be, what, 50 metres high, something like that. I'll need to Google it, have a look-see. Um, I'll show the movie I've got set up. I think I'll probably take two pictures here. Eh? I'll be looking at one kind of horizontal and a vertical one as well. So, let me show you the horizontal one for now. I'll just stick on that movie there so you can see it. Oh, and it's a way too dark. You know, I do this every single time, so I'm in auto now. And then last time I forgot to switch it off ISO auto and I took a picture at ISO 1250 or something daft like that. So that took a lot of cleaning up in Photoshop, I can tell you. However, anyway, that's it. I better remember to switch off ISO auto this time, but that's the falls. You can see it's sitting there when it's on ISO auto. ISO 10,000, that's how dark it is down there. Okay, so uh, I've got the falls themselves sitting on the rule of thirds across here. And that's about it. The rest of it is just trees and things. So uh, there's not really a great deal to say, except for you want, with a waterfall, a fairly long exposure. So let me switch that movie off again for now. Okay, and whilst I'm talking about it, reminding myself, I'm going to go for ISO 320. Okay, which will give me an exposure time of one sixth of a second, which is probably more or less what we want. Uh, I'm at F9, okay, because uh, the water's falling fairly fast. So let's just take that shot, focus in on the waterfall itself, okay, and off it goes. One, two, three, click.
So that's the, um, the first shot out of the way, and it's not the greatest shot I've ever taken, but it's a shot, you know. Uh, so I've got the camera set up now into vertical mode, which I'm thinking is a bit better. Let me just stick on this, this here movie again, like that, and you can see what we're looking at. Um, let me go to, once more, right, so auto, remind me to switch that off. Okay, so there we go, and I've got it framed up more, so we've got these kind of bushes down at the bottom here. All right, I've got the waterfall itself going right up this little fence up here. Okay, again, it's kind of surrounded by trees. Um, not a great deal I can do about them. But uh, the other thing is, if I, if I point it up the way, there's too much kind of white space and stuff there, so which can detract from the waterfall. So, yeah, I've just focused really in on the on the waterfall itself. So let me just switch that off like that. And because I keep talking about it, to remind myself to do it, I'm going to switch right back up. Right, so I'm going to go for ISO 400 this time, because I felt that one second of a second one wasn't quite short enough. You want it short, but not too short. So I'm looking at an eighth of a second now, at F9. Okay, so once more, I shall focus up on the waterfall up there. Let's try to do it properly. There, focus on the waterfall up there. And I shall hit the button, grab the shot. One, two, three. So we'll go for one last shot while we're here, and uh, this time it's not going to be the falls. I'm going to point at these kind of weeds things, flower things, which are growing at the top of the door, which I think are actually really nice. Let me just put that movie on again so you can see them again. Uh -huh, blah, 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 blah. I do have a thing to do something about this ISO auto business. But that's what we're looking at now. You see two flowers hanging down over the darkness of the, um, of the door which I quite like, and then obviously the bright kind of arc around here. So, I don't know if that's going to be, it could be a square crop, not quite nice a square crop. Let's bring it out just a tad. Yeah, that would fit into a square, I think. So, let's call it that, let's call it a square crop. Okay, so, back to ISO, I'm going to go to ISO 100 obviously for this. Okay, I'm going to switch the movie off. All right, and that's given me an exposure time of 1.6 seconds, so that's what we'll work with just now. In fact, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to take it right down to F4. Focus on the flower. Okay. Which gives us a quarter of a second, which is probably nicer. And it'll bring all the, the the arch kind of, not into, not into um, kind of proper bokeh, but we're focusing on the flowers all the same. Okay, so that's that. One, two, three. Click. Thank you. 
So I've moved a wee bit further around now and uh, we're at the upper falls, as you can see behind me there. Um, and they do kind of go right through this kind of gorge here, which I might try and get a picture of. It's very nice. I don't want to get down there because I'll end up breaking my neck. I can see there could be some lovely pictures down there if you're more of a daredevil than I am. However, I might be able to, I don't know, but I might be able to get some kind of pano across there. I'll certainly try, but for now, we're going to take a shot just looking directly at the waterfall here. So I'm set up, uh, pointing at the waterfall, let me put the movie on, just swap hands there, put the movie on, like that, and uh, we're looking at, I'm at ISO 1000, it's probably bright enough for what we need to see just now. Um, I've got the waterfall sitting right down in the rule of thirds running down from here, right down into the pool here. Now I've had to put it up to, as I say, ISO 1000, uh, just because it's really dark in this gorge. Uh, and I'm at F5.6, okay, which has given me right about a quarter of a second or so of exposure. Okay, so I'm going to switch the movie off. Uh, I'm going to swap hands and switch the movie off because I can't do it with that hand whilst I'm holding on to you. There we go. So yeah, half a second, not quite four of a second is what we're looking at. Okay, on ISO 1000, F5.6. Focus in on the rocks up at the top, kind of bit of the row of thirds. Try again. There. All right. And swap hands again and grab the shot. One, two, three, click. Okay, so I promised you a pano, and uh, I'm going to try and get one, but if I stand back you'll probably see I've got the camera at a hell of an angle here, um, kind of stuffed in there, and I cannot get it to stand up straight. Um, I can stand up straight on the, um, on the platform here. But that's no good because um, I'm getting too much of the platform in the panel when I swing it around. So, uh, it's not going to be the greatest panel you've ever taken. Um, let me just kind of swing it around and I'll show you what it, what it looks like. Uh, it's not going to be flat, there's no way it's going to be flat. But, oh there we go, hang on. Iso auto, there we go, blah 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 blah. Iso auto. Okay. Uh, swing it down. And you can see that at this end, we're going to get part of the platform in down here. Oops. And swing it around kind of this way. So that we can see everything down here as well. Okay, so it's going to be horribly deformed anyway, so uh, we shall just do our best with what we've got. Okay, let me tighten that up just now. Uh, I'm going to switch the movie off. All right, uh, I'm in manual mode. Uh, like I say, I was going to go at, let me switch it off ISO auto first. I was up at ISO 400, which is give me an exposure time of about half a second or so. Okay, I'm at F8. All right, and uh, I've already put my hand in front of the picture, like I usually do, which is like that. So, one, two, three, click. Okay, well, I'm going to call it a day at that. Um, I've taken three or four shots and wrapped it on about 
whatever, you know. I can't even remember what I was talking about. But uh, aye, it's lovely up here. I thoroughly recommend it. It's a beautiful walk. It's not very long, but lovely walk up through the waterfalls, up through the woods. There is that uh, Hermit's Cave, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, apparently, the Victorians used to uh, hire a professional hermit to go and live in there. It used to be all kind of uh, covered up, like a wee kind of, uh, sort of rocky cabin thing sitting on the uh, sitting on the cliff high above the waterfall with the professional hermit lived. Lucky him. Um, I and the Victorians paid him as a tourist attraction. However, anyway, yeah, what was I saying? Rattling on about hermits. Yes. Um, call it a day of that. If you've enjoyed the content, please do the usual. Please like. Please subscribe. Please click on the little bell icon down the corner there um, so that you see this stuff or you get notified of this stuff every time I post something. Um, yeah, it'd be great if you could. Please comment as well. If you've enjoyed this walk, um, please leave a comment because I do like to hear what you have to say. Um, what else? Oh, I know what else. Um, my calendar is coming out soon. Uh, I'm opening up for pre-orders now, so uh, I'll put a link in the description below. If you would click on there, you will find a link to where you can pre-order my calendar. Uh, probably ship them around about the end of October or so, I expect. All right, so that's that. Um, yeah, all that remains for me to do now is to say I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching me. Bye for now. Cheers.